Hi, today I'm going to show you how to remove the architrave, which is the, the wood that goes around the frame of the door and replace it for a new one. It's actually easier to just take it off and put a new one on uh, rather than just strip off all the paint a lot of the time. So, first of all, um, we're going to need a knife. This is just the reduced damage you get from this. So we want to cut all the way around and just slice in, just slice in, slowly, gently and slowly all the way around. Some of it could crack or snap, but you just use filler to fill it in and then um, sand it over. Sand it and then just um, paint over it. The other side. It's worth going over probably a couple of times just to make sure you cut into as much as you can. It's a bit rough itself. Right, let me do the other bits and I'll continue filming in a sec after I've cut all the way around. Okay, I've cut around the frame now. So what we now need to do is prise this off. So as you can see, they've probably filled it in when they initially fitted it. So what I'm gonna do is get a hammer and pry bar. Um, you could use a chisel actually as well, I've used that, but it gives a good bit of leverage. So, when you're doing this, always check the other side to make sure it's coming away clean, otherwise, what happens? The plaster starts coming away as you're doing it, hence the cut. So. cleanly so it's not too bad. And the pie bar will actually just pry it out. There we go. So see here it's just sticking out. So what we need to do is work all the way round. Oh dust coming off. Let me do this side. Again, the same technique. Let me just take the rest of it off and I'll show what it looks like in a second. Here we have got the frame now taken off, as you can see. Just this bit left, just slowly prise that off. do is just sort of clean up around it now, all the way around, um, so all these loose bits come off. Um, I'm going to see if I can try and straighten out this frame, um, and if not, I'll just take it out completely. So as you see here, there's a small gap there, and as you go down, the gap just gets wider and wider, until the bottom <laughs> The gap is enormous. So let me work out if I can shift it back a bit or I'll just take it out completely. Okay, here we have the architrave removed off the frame. And I did have a thought about ripping the frame out. 
because it was twisted but um, I've managed to uh, wedge bits of wood in like there and there using a combination of the pry bar and a crowbar so you can see there <coughs> and the gaps reduced so it was at least that big before I think so next thing to do um, well sorry let me mention I've done the other side of the door as well so I've stripped that architrave off the same way yeah and you can see a gap now obviously uh, this was much tighter I've taken the um, <coughs> the threshold out so what I'm going to do next is take the door off and start stripping the frame down all of this um, and what I'll do I've got another video of that but use a um, a chisel and just scrape it all down um, so let me make a start on that and I'll show the effect it has in. but yeah it's quite good that I don't have to take the frame out now so it was actually literally just clipping in about that much I see the difference now Let me take the door off and I'll start stripping it down. Okay, I've taken the door off now, taken the hinges and everything off. So what I'm going to do now is just start scraping off the paint. So I've got a slightly older chisel and all I'm doing off pretty quick probably better than using a blowtorch a bit of effort to do it comes off pretty quick let me carry on this and I'll show you in a bit okay here we now have the frame quite a large proportion of the paint now removed again just with the chisel um, the chisel was quite sharp I tried a blunt one but that's no good oh probably not very good angle Just a little bit more tidying up. I'll get the little bits I've missed. Um, and then I can just sand it down, hopefully. So these are the bits that have been filled in. The doors actually flipped around the other way um, a couple of years ago. Okay, let me get the little bits I've missed. and then start recording again. Okay, here we have the door frame now. Uh, the bulk of it's been lightly sanded down. Let's just show you. There you go. Fairly clean. Most of the areas are covered. Um, just need to slowly start preparing it now. So, what I'm going to do, oh let me show you this bit, this is where the old hinge was, this was previously filled in by me, um, so I've just stripped off all the paint around it, and obviously sanded it down so it's pretty level now. Um, so what I'm going to do next, obviously the door stops off on both sides and the top, um, I'm going to refit the hinges. So. As you see now, because the door stop was at, a cert, was at a certain point, I couldn't fit the hinge all the way in. So just to show you the difference, there you go. So the door would have been sticking out slightly. So I'll just refit these hinges correctly now. Um, and I'll just pack the, the existing holes for the wood or little sticks. Hopefully that will help. So let me start refitting this. And get the door back on there and put the door stopper on, a new door stopper on. Okay, let me make a start on that now. Okay, here we now have the door frame cleaned up, door stops being fitted, as you can see here. Um, 
and it's been nailed in. What I've normally done, um, sorry, what I normally do is uh, nail in panel pins, just thin pins, go straight in. And then, hang on, let me show this. So once it's nailed in, use something just to push it in further. So I guess this is a mini bolster or something. Um, so just hold on to it, nail it in, and then fill it. So what I've done, all the odd bits on the frame itself, all the little gaps and everything, I've just filled in and just sanded. Show from the inside. What I've also done is just wipe down the whole frame after it's been sanded. Um, it's quite good, you can't tell the joint itself. There you go, so the next thing I'm going to do is get some decorator's cork and fill in around all this and all this and then leave that to dry. And I'll show you once that's been done. Okay, so uh, now I've got the flooring fitted in here um, and I'm just about to put the architrave, so I'll quickly show that. Um, let me turn the light on here. Hopefully that will help a little bit as well. <clears throat> so we want to keep a similar gap all the way around the architrave itself. So. Um, I've got one of these set squares, I've put the gap I want and all I've done is go around the frame and mark it up at a certain interval so I know <coughs> when I put the architrave on it will just be nailed around that area. So I've put one of the pieces on and um, I've just measured another one so it gives me an idea where to nail it. So I'll nail this one in, then I'll cut the next one. Um, there you go, I'll do that and I'll continue filming. It's pretty straightforward, I've got a mitre saw. Um, just cut the angles and stick it on. Any gaps, just use filler, wood filler and fill it in. Okay, normally I prefer to nail in the architrave um, so you see I've nailed it in there, but you don't really want the nail to look like that. So what you do, move back a little bit, that's it, that's it, that's it. You push it in, like that, and then you just fill it over. Let's do it again. So. There you go. I don't know if you can see that, there you go. Just put filler over it, a little bit of sand, uh, sandpaper, sand it down and it gives it a smoother finish. Okay, let me do the other bits. Uh, okay, so obviously I've shown how to um, push the nail in further. Now I'm going to use um, Ronsu wood filler. Just grab a little bit of my finger. Just cover the hole like that. Get it fairly neat so there's not too much to sand off. And that's it, just do that for every single gap. And then we do that for the rest. Okay. okay, here we have the frame. All the little little gaps filled in. Um, I've put a little bit of extra filler around the joints. There you go. So what I'll do next. I'll put a little bit of filler around the edges. So you see there's little bits of damage. There you go. There. And then we could just use decorative cork around these areas. But we'll just put filler just to smooth it off here. So I'll fill that 
and I'll show you what it looks like in a bit. Okay, here we have all the bits on the door filled in now, and the areas at the side of the door where it got damaged when I was taking the existing architrave off. So all filled in, ready for just um, a quick sand. So let me get some um, sandpaper and just start sanding it. I'll just use a hoover as well, just to reduce the amount of dust that flies around. Literally just come in close, sand down the bit, and just hold a hoover, just hoover attachment just underneath it. Okay, so here we now have the frame and the side areas all sanded down. All the nails and slight gaps we had, they're all gone now. The edges are, hope you can see clearly, very smooth. And again, that's very smooth as well. So, now next thing to do is the slight gaps we have between the frame and that in the wall. Uh, let me show here as well. Just put a bit of um, decorator's cord coin in the gap. I fill all the way around. So that will really be the final bit of prep work just before we start painting. So let me start doing that. Wipe the, well obviously wipe the area down and then I'll start doing it. Okay, so I've used decorator's cord now. Filled in all the little gaps around the frame. As you can see, and even the tiny gap around there. I should have done all the bits here as well. And the joints are sanded down obviously as well. So really, that's most of it just covered now. So the next thing to do is just paint the edges. Um, of the wall, obviously hide all the bits that have been filled in, uh, which I'll do next, and then I can start painting the frame with um, two coats of eggshell paint. So let me show once the sides have been painted. Okay, here we have the frame painted up now. I've just started putting the um, so hinges and things back. Painted all the edges as well. Just a little bit of a tidy up here probably. <coughs> There you go. Just, <clears throat> I'll remove the cellar tape in a bit and then refit the door. It's nearly there now. Okay, here we have the door fitted back into place and the finish replacing the architrave and stripping it down. I've only done one side so far, I've not finished the hallway. So. so I'll do the other side much later on. There you go.
Thanks for viewing.